Hello and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade. Well, we're looking at the oldest game we've ever featured on the channel yet. We are looking at The Goonies, the arcade game. I know what you're thinking. What? Yes, there was an arcade game for The Goonies that was originally uh, put together and was going to be released by Nintendo for their VS system. It was their portable arcade. Get ready to hear some terrible sprite noises. Um, this video, although it, like a lot of games in that era, didn't have a lot of music and sound effects, this game seemed to feature them at a piercing volume. I know I can bring the noise down on this, but I'm choosing not to, just for this one occasion. Just because the, the audio in this game is so piercing and sharp that it's, it needs to be appreciated just how awful it is. Now, apparently this movie license game, we try to only feature um, good movie and TV uh, kind of licenses on this channel that get converted into games where possible. Just because the general consensus is that they're all awful. But this game, I haven't played it yet, never played it before, it's, it's not shaping up well. It's just because The Goodness is a great film and moreover, I'd like to talk more about the Nintendo VS arcade system. So without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? So we can enter some credits, there we go. Again, awful piercing sound effects there and this was very systematic of the VS system it should be said so we're in the game and there's the music nice looks like the mice come back don't know if I'm supposed to grab that have a look Okay, we're going for that traditional Donkey Kong uh, run there. Okay, I think I have a bomb, so can I leave it here? There we go. No, nothing. Jump and kick. Okay, we have a bomb. No idea how to lay a bomb. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Ah, so maybe I have to lift them up. Okay, that makes more sense. Anyone that's been watching may notice that there's a clock at the top of the screen there. That does not bode well for me. Okay, we have a key. Let's go for that. Okay, magic. Maybe I can use the key on that lock. Oh! That was appalling. I died. Right, so let's go back into it. Now, I haven't seen the Goonies in quite a long time, but I would go as far as to say I don't remember there being rats, and particularly rats that, you know, were one of the big antagonists. Okay. Okay, I have that bomb right. And the music actually sounds a bit familiar. Oh. oh my god, I'm sorry if this is irritating you to watch. It's as irritating as it is for me to play. I think um, more of a new world attitude towards computer gaming is very systematic in this. But we got a bomb, let's try that again. Quick turn around from that bugger there. Okay, the key door isn't there. I'm starting to get the impression I don't use that lock because none of these buttons seem to want to play the game. A crucifix. I'm not saying they've ripped off Mario or Sonic here, but that is appalling. Actually, I say that, I believe Mario might have been released, but there's no guaranteeing that. Um, I think Mario might have even predated this game. Okay, so we have a life. It's a rare treat for an arcade. Oh, I'm not going to need that bomb. Again, get a load of the noise those sprites make. It's appalling. Okay, 
have a look. Hopefully that's the third key. Okay, so we have three keys. Let's see if they're finally going to let me do something. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume I need to have three keys to open that door. So let's find out. This place has a major rat problem. I'm starting to get the impression this guy might be a problem. Okay, you just walk into the door. Call me crazy, but that doesn't make sense. Okay. Wow, things got super intense. Oh, no. The kick wasn't on my side that time. Do you know what? Let's pause this game. So, that at the moment, as I say, we are playing Goonies. Look at that awful pipe system there built into the bricks. No plumber would sign that off. Mario, where are you? Anyway. So this is Goonies, or to give it its full title, Versus the Goonies. And that's again because this is based on the Nintendo Versus arcade system. It was a kind of um, a console approach to arcade game. It was a cartridge-based um, loading arcade machine. So you'd get the machine and you could interchange the games. Obviously you'd change the livery, much like you can see on the screen there. That would be the big banner near the controls and uh, details information about how to play the game. Um, something I probably should have read before this video, but the Nintendo VS system was released in 1985. Um, it wasn't, I'm not going to say it was hugely popular, um, it was quite an expensive device, and it knocked around for a few years with several games joining it. It had everything from Super Punch-Out, Choo Choo Land, Duck Hunt, Match Golf, Wrecking Crew, and of course Super Mario Brothers were all featured at one time or another on the VS system. However, the VS system's hardware was not dissimilar to the NES, and therefore porting games over to it, often it was a direct carryover to the NES system or vice versa for the games that were based on it. So what you were getting was um, arcade, an arcade machine, you'd go somewhere where the arcades were there, but you were playing in many cases NES games and paying per go for the privilege. I don't know what the rates were back then, maybe you bunged in a quarter or 50p or something. but. You could see that a lot of people might have resented the idea of paying for a game they could have just got from their parents for their birthday, Christmas, whatever, or their pocket money. But in most cases, games were released on both systems in two different versions. Um, and a lot of the games had slight nuanced improvements for one over the other. But on the whole, you were just kind of mildly being jipped a little bit. Now, games that were released on the Versus system that were NES copy, uh, copies we came into two different versions, the Uni system and the Jewel system. And I shouldn't need to explain what Jewel and Uni means. Um, now, the music you heard during the game is actually an incredibly, that whimsical little noise, um, was actually from the Goonies movie, but it's incredibly cut down version of the music. It's just a scaled down version of Cindy Lauper's music. Um, the Goonies are good enough. Everyone knows that song, good enough. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, but the Versus Uni system and Dual system ar arcade board um, was available in different versions of the arcade machine. There was a sit down version, a stand up version, ones with an angled screen and angled controls, and most of them were two players, even some of them that emulated some of the peripherals of the NES. Um, but for the most part, the Nintendo Entertainment System made this arcade an incredibly expensive endeavour and on the whole less popular than I think Nintendo would have hoped. This game was released in 1996, um, just a year after the release of the VS system and of course the VS system lasted a few years but was pretty much long gone and they went back to old standard arcades as you would expect and most of Nintendo's biggest break in the arcades would come in the form of Street Fighter, that big Capcom game that ended up being ported to a Nintendo's um, the Nintendo system, the Super Nintendo, using the CIP board, and it was that was a change of scene when it comes to arcades, both for Capcom and for Nintendo, because Nintendo abandoned this endeavour not a short, not too long afterwards, because again people just felt a bit gypped, and you can't really blame them. Anyway, let's get back into this game, uh, despite what I might think of it at this stage. At least there's different music this time. And I just got the world's most intensive haircut. I can't tell if those pipes are copyright infringement to Mario. Shouldn't be, because they're both owned by Nintendo. Let's see what this little rat's going to do. But I'll be honest, I don't remember this scene. I remember a sewer scene, there's no denying it. 
but I don't remember this scene in the Goonies movie. There you go, two for one there. Beautiful. Not sure that bar did. I think it gave me health, but I'm not sure. Apparently, giving you the animation to kick in the air does not result in being able to actually kick. But that was the BS Goonies game with its awful music. I'd love to tell you that was a bad port, but that really was it. Um, there's a countdown there, as you expect from any game. But that was the Goonies arcade game. I'm going to try and do a playthrough of that later on and record the whole thing. I might even live stream it, but to be honest, that is torture to play. But otherwise, if you want to see any other games on the channel, pop them in the comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. But otherwise, thanks for watching. That was Robbie's Arcade with The Goonies.